Hi, it's Brent Forbes with Golden West Radio. I'm joined by Lynn Wires of the Building Blocks Early Child or Child Development Center. Rather, I uh, just want to start by saying a big congratulations, Lynn. Uh, you've been selected as our winner for Education Appreciation for the month of March. Thank you very much. What does it mean to you to get uh, some recognition in what's been a difficult year here? Um, actually, I was taken by surprise from one of my staff who was questioning me about different things. And um, I didn't think anything of it, actually, until you phoned me and, and spoke to me. So I'm very humbled and blessed, um, grateful, and i speechless, speechless. Wonderful. You know, um, we here at Golden West really value our, our educators here in the community. And, uh, you know, this year has been a very difficult year. So we especially want to say a huge thank you. And, and our way of doing that is to give you some great prizes. So uh, you're going to get a custom artwork from 32 Flavors. You get a gift basket from Rapture Spa and Boutique and gift certificates from Street Steakhouse and Bar, Soltopia Elixir and Juice Bar, Belize and Moda in Regina, Skates and Skirts in Moss Bank, and Dream Drop Shop here in town as well. Wow. <laughs> Again, we, we can't say enough thank you. Um, teachers, uh, I have a lot of teachers in my family, and it's a it's a really thankless job. So I uh, just want to say a huge thank you to you for, for helping shape the minds of, of the little children in our community. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys um, acknowledging educators, um, especially even in early childhood education. We um, we did have a really rough year. I have a, I'm blessed with an amazing staff. And uh, supportive families and the children are are an absolute joy. So, um, this has been probably the highlight of my last thirteen months. <laughs> I can tell you that for sure. For sure. Um, we got uh, the submission came in from uh, I believe it was Carol Ann Dunlop. Yeah, and uh, you know she wrote up uh, a novel on what makes you so great at your job. Um, I I can't read through the whole thing. I'll have to send it to you through an email here, but. Um, she essentially just talked about how dedicated you are to to the children that you work with and, and to making building blocks run. Um, do you want to just speak a little bit about uh, you know your passion and, and what got you into this? Uh, well, uh, when I was 11, I started babysitting and I knew that one day I would work with kids because one of my kids would be a hockey player, a writer, a singer, an actor a doctor, a lawyer, I just, one of my kids out there was going to be something amazing. And I've been very fortunate that not just one, but many of the kids that I've had bless my heart and be part of who I am have all grown to be amazing, amazing people. Um, I still run into some of them now. I've been in childcare for, uh, I think, 18, 19 years, and I can still run into some of these kids and we have beautiful conversations. I think that investing in the kids is probably the best thing we can do right now because they are the ones that that keep us, that keep our hearts filled, that keep us innocent, that with the fear of the unknown of what's going on in today's world, the kids are the ones that can help us get through our days. Um, they all have the special ability to be amazing and we're just fortunate enough that we get to be part of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you're speaking about, you know, how difficult this year has been and how important it is to, you know, help children. How has the year been for you and for building blocks? Um, we had a rough start. Um, our first week we lost uh, 37 kids to the unknown. Um, 13 staff were gone and, but our families and our kids and our staff stayed strong and, waited for the day for us to be a family again. We stayed connected through um, our app. We stayed connected through emails and text messages and photos. And um, we're a family here. So we supported each other in every way we could. It was tough. It was a learning curve for sure. Um, trying to teach and educate kids differently without them being scared, um, having to wear masks and putting in different rules. It just became part of their day and their routine. Um, and like I said, I have a supportive board, the families, the staff, everybody's worked so hard to to make sure that everything would go as smoothly as possible. Had our bumps, but you know, we work through them like everybody else. 
Absolutely. And I guess just before we go here, um, do you want to just speak on, uh, you know, what it means to you to, to be recognized for this? And, uh, and, and again, just uh, one more note on, on what teaching means to you. Oh my gosh. Teaching is my everything. It's sometimes I wonder if I'm not the student some days because it, I get taught so much from these kids and my favorite time is story time. Like I get so excited when they ask me to come and I get invited to their classroom to do stories and songs. Um, but just watching these kids learn, it keeps me, keeps me young. Um, cause I don't want to grow up. So I feel this is the best place for me to be. I'm going to be like Peter Pan for the rest of my days. Um, but teaching is probably one of the most valuable jobs that I think I've ever, ever had in my life um, to get to help guide and support the kids in the good times and the bad. Um, having the parents come and say, thank you for teaching my kids that there's vitamin C and oranges because they don't eat them at home, but they do now. And it's just the little things, it's the little things that count. The hugs every day, the I love yous, the, the thank yous. Um, it's probably one of the only jobs that you can get 75 hugs in in the first hour and it just sets the tone for the day teaching is probably the best thing i've ever done for a career <laughs> absolutely well again uh, a huge thank you lynn wires director at uh, building blocks child development center um again thank you for everything you've done for the kids this year and continue to do year in and year out and uh we really appreciate it Thank you very, very much for the acknowledgement. I appreciate it.